Hey, how are you? My name is Lech and welcome to my interior visualization course in Blender. In this warm-up video, I'm gonna tell you how to get started with the course and how to make the best use of it. Right off the bat, I'll start with the most commonly asked question. Can I do the course as a Blender beginner? And the answer is absolutely yes. The course itself is actually quite slow, especially the parts focused on 3D modeling. There are over 13 hours of video material that I want to share with you and that's because I'm explaining everything slowly, step by step, so everyone, regardless of what's your Blender experience, can follow me. Now, if you're an absolute beginner who maybe didn't even launch Blender before, I got you covered as well. There is an absolute beginner's course available for free on my YouTube channel, which I highly recommend checking out before you jump into the main interior visualization course. The course was made in 2019, so a few things changed in Blender since then, but it's a still a relevant, a great resource if you want to get quickly started with the software. This brings us to another very common question, which Blender version should I use with the course and will the knowledge stay relevant over time if there are new Blender versions released? So I made the course using the Blender 2.80 which since its release received many new features well there's even blender 3.0 on the horizon when i'm recording this video however all the basic concepts that i teach they stay exactly the same what might have changed over time are probably some shortcuts that i'm using or the interface icon layouts which for the reasons i not necessarily understand blender foundation likes to change with the newer blender versions but just in case you have any problems following the course in the newer Blender versions, I've saved the original Blender 2.80 installation files for you. You can find and download them totally for free from the free course chapter page that I've included in the video description. Speaking of page, this is where you can find all other important details about the course, how it's structured, how to get things running if you're a Mac user. The page also includes some of the videos that I won't be uploading to the channel. For example, differences between Blender 2.80 and 2.79, which brings us to the ancient times when Blender was nowhere near to what it is today. But I still recommend seeing these videos as I'm discussing some of the features that I'm using later in the course. The free chapter page also includes all the necessary links for example, to the Absolute Beginners course that I mentioned before, and it gives you a general idea how the extra content to the course looks like. But what extra content? Aren't the videos enough? Well, I try to make the videos as clear as possible so you can learn as much as possible from them and become better at Blender. However, there are certain topics, for example, in this course, it's the whole rendering chapter where I think video is not always the perfect medium to share all the knowledge. Sometimes it's better and quicker to just see a simple image comparison to understand certain things or read about them a few times to get the idea better. That's why you can support what I do and get access to all the extra content, images, written tips, project files by choosing either one of the Choco for subscriptions or getting the course standalone. I leave all the links in the video description. However, I want you to know that I really put a lot of effort to the videos themselves so you can truly learn as much as possible from them. Moving on, so where do we go from here? In the next video, I will show you how to approach a typical architectural project, how to work with technical documentation files, how to get them into Blender, and we will start modeling a complete interior 3D scene. Before we begin, I want you to remember that we get better at anything, including Blender, by constant step-by-step -step practice. You won't get better in interior visualization by binge watching 10 of my videos in a single day and trying to follow them. It's just like with the guitar that I have here. Don't judge me, you guitar freaks. It's just a practice instrument. So I used to play when I was younger, 
But then I quit the instrument for almost 10 years just because I got stuck at a certain point and I truly believe that I don't have talent for guitar, for instruments. I actually got back to playing just a few months ago because of the boardroom during the COVID lockdowns. So I purchased this practice instrument. I enrolled to an online class and after some time, imagine my shock when it turns out that all that matters is a daily repetition and practice and talent is this little small ingredient that will maybe speed up your progress a little bit. So now I would like to challenge you a bit. Maybe you can try following the videos as I upload them and practice the newly learned skills on a regular basis. If you're new to the channel and I've already uploaded everything, then try setting a fixed number of days, 20, 30, 40, maybe 50, you will find your own pace and do all the videos within this time frame. Depending on your commitment level, I truly believe that you can learn the interior visualization within this time frame. It's not as challenging and time consuming as playing the instrument. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Please remember all the necessary links are in the video description and I guess I see you in the next video. Bye.